So welcome to Matt Lizard RC. So um, what I'm gonna be showing today is how to make a automatic bilge pump for <clears throat> you know any type of RC boat. You know if your boat takes on water occasionally, um, you know this is something you can add in there. So when the water level gets up to a certain height, it'll turn the water pump on, pump out the water, and then turn off when the water gets low. So you know here is a diagram I kind of wrote up. Um, so basically it uses a you know transistor and then a 2.2k ohm resistor. I'm not you know highly educated on electronics. I found a um, you know after some digging and on Google and some reading for a while I came across you know this is you know this design someone posted years and years ago. So you know I tried gave it a shot and it actually worked really good. So I wanted to you know present it a little bit more. So using a a TIP120 transistor and a 2.2K ohm resistor. You know, it's all wired in a certain way. So basically when the water level comes up, you know, there's two copper leads right here that senses it and then it'll send power to the water pump, turn it on and then turn it off. So basically, um, you know, bear with me you guys, you know, basically, you know, the ohm resistor is ran in line to the transistor itself, kind of helps smooth out the power flow. And then I think this also helps, you know, the sensitivity and make kind of like a relay, I believe it is. Um, and so, but again, you know, it's not, you know, all this type of stuff here, um, you know, it's still iffy to me, but, you know, I want to just kind of show, you know, like how I was wiring it, how I kind of did it. So, you know, a couple of things you need is that, you know, 120 transistor TIP, you know, I got this off Amazon. Um, it was like $6 for the whole kit. Unfortunately, I just need, you know, the couple of that 120. And then these little resistors, you know, again, I bought them off Amazon, big giant package. Uh, unfortunately, it was cheaper just buying a package and the, versus the one. Kind of sucks, but this is what it is. And then I bought these little pegboards here, um, PPC, PCB little pegboards. So that way I can assemble this in a cleaner way. You know, you don't really need to, you can just kind of wire it all in and do it that way. Um, so I use, you know, like these little pigtails, servo pigtails. You can get the male and female pigtails, male, male, you know, probably do like a 12 inch long one. So you have some extra room to work with. Um, so do it. Do that. Um, I <clears throat> and so the only thing I'm missing is a pump. I'll have that a little bit later today, and so I'll be able to wire that in. So, but you know what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the running process, and get it all, you know, put together as what's in you know schematic, and then basically you know what I've done is kind of built something like this. You know, here's one sample, but you know I'm gonna do it a different way that's a little more simpler. So, um, so once I get more set up. I'll be right back. All right, so um, what I'll use, so I made two of these already, so we're going to make another one. Easiest thing I found is, you know, I'm, we're going to use, I'm going to use this little pegboard here. We're going to take two of the ends and just bend them straight down. And then we will be soldering them when we get to that point. And then so one be just like that, the other two be sticking through. So we're going to take this outside one. Um, see how I end up short. So I want it about right there. This is just preference. You can do, you can do this however you want to. So I'm going to take it. I'm going to move it up one more hole. And then we're going to do that one just like that. And then we're going to, you know, solder that. Throw a little bit of solder on it. Solder is nice and hot. It doesn't take much, just a little bit of a dab. So there's one, and we will be 
connecting some wires to this too. So we're gonna do the other side right here. Just like that. And then this one, we're actually gonna put a dab, fine soldering, just like that. So we're doing a dab because we got, we're gonna wire in the resistor as well, or yeah. So, you know, we got a wire, wire, and then this side right here, Um, okay, this side's supposed to have the resistor. Oops. Oh, well. We'll make it work. You know, the, con the idea's there. So we're going to desolder that one. And come back. All right, so we're back. A little circuit board. Um, kind of see how I kind of did it. You know, you, this this uh, PCB PC, ah, um, board is not really needed. I just did it to help kind of organize all the little pieces. So, you know, I wired this exactly, you know, how, you know, the paper says right here. So reference off that, you got my little diode in there. So basically what we're gonna start doing is just soldering all the connections to this and going from there. Now, um, easiest way is get some like servo extension leads, you know, get a couple of them, then you can easily just, you know, cut them up. And yes, it does require a little bit of soldering. So, but you know, just how it goes. All right, so um, we're gonna get this all soldered again, all soldered up. So, uh, let's start with the negative side coming from the main power, which is this guy right here. Um, okay. And so that's going to go on, you know, the left, the right leg, if you're looking at it, which my right leg is on the back side, is right there. <coughs> Black is done. Okay, black to right leg from battery side. And then um, the JSD, black to the left side, that's on the diode side. So that is that side right there. So black from voltage into the transistor. And then on the right leg, left leg is the 2K resistor. My 2K resistor, which then, yep. And then down to my sensor, which, you know, I ran short of, you know, having a couple extra plugs. So I actually had to, um, you know, make a couple plugs with these little ends right here, right there. So, tedious. Anyway, so we got that wired in there. Now we need to do our, the pump lead. So, you know, I got my five volt pump right here with, you know, my female connector. So we're gonna chase that. So red goes to the center um, of the transistor.
good. We're black over there. Oh. Oh. Oopsie. That part done. So now coming off the main pump, uh, center, center of the cable line. Okay. All right, we are getting somewhere. This little white wire is not needed. So trim that guy off. Okay, so we got the line going down to the pump. This is going to the receiver or, you know, a power source. So, you know, negative to the right side, done. Positive to, goes down to the pump plus the water pickup or the water sensor. And then um, black goes to the left side. Done, done. So from here, I'm gonna get these little guys crimped on. These guys can be a little tricky to get crypt on. Um, and I'm sure they make a tool. You know, I only bought this ridge, you know, these pieces because one of my ESCs, the plug wiring was starting to get damaged. Probably all the times pulling on it, it was an older ESC to begin with anyway. So today is coming in handy. All right, so when you have your male to female extension wires, you know, placement on here doesn't really matter. Um, so it doesn't matter. <coughs> Excuse me. Stick. So I have some of this copper wire right here, basically just jewelry wire copper wire non-coated I use it for like wrapping wiring when I'm doing a lot of soldering so create more of like a mechanical connection plus a solder joint so but they're perfect size so 22 gauge copper wire perfect size for this so we're going to cut it give it that's what it looks like this so now we're all wired in um, so I'm going to get everything um, together so we can do a quick test. All right, so now we got everything all connected. Uh, speed control, battery, and a receiver. Basically, you know, I'm just using a Spectrum 90 amp ESC just for testing purposes. Uh, one good thing about like this green, green board, you can easily cut it down and trim it down to you know, down to size. So I'm gonna take some shrink wrap, put it over and shrink wrap it, call it good. So I will turn it on. Um, you know, when I was assembly, you know, I did have two wires crossed over, but you know, double check the wiring diagram and pretty well straightforward. So, there it goes. See, it touches the water going. And we are working. So as soon as water level touches, water pump comes on and water goes away, turns off. Now, depending on some areas, depending on your water, 
you know, some reading I have read that sometimes they work really good, sometimes they don't. It just depends on the water. Um, like, for example, like, you know, I tried to run this test with bottled water and it would not work. And But that might be because of, um, you know, some water, like um, some bottled water, um, like baby water, or I can't think of it. Um, you know, they, you know, might have done um, some other things to refine it a little bit more. So that way it just does not have, you know, the conductivity through the water itself. But normal tap water, all the, you know, the lakes I've been in so far, so far it's been working. Um, you know, I'm still on a trial. So now we verify it's working. We're working good. And get it into the boat. So, you know, get it unplugged. <clears throat> so corrosion X is next. So, you know, it's a good way to, you know, stop any type of corrosion. Also, it's a waterproof. So, you want to make sure this connection is nice and waterproofed. Um, so, I don't have any problems, you know, with it. You know, it's a little bit of a spray. Don't take much. Coat it. So, now, you know, this can be underwater, no problem. Now, this stuff works great for um, ESCs as well. You know, basically, you, know, you waterproof them. Don't ever have to worry about it again. Um, you know, I did waterproofing on a, a receiver about three years ago and still going just like that. So far, going good. And I've sank this boat multiple times. Um, you know, it's been wet inside. And so it's, it's seen a lot. Nope. Oh. All right, so we've been shrink wrap. Let's just try this one more time. Get really good. Yep, so anyways, so that's how we do it. Build one of those, so if anyone's interested, easily build one. Thanks for watching.